Hello everyone, long time no see. How are you doing? Hope you are fine. Today we are going to unbox a good product for you, the UpToStream Plate Amp 2.1. UpToStream Plate Amp 2.1 is a Wi-Fi and Bluetooth 5.0, 2.1 channel plate amplifier that is easy for you to build your own high-quality wireless streaming speakers. With no further ado, straight to our topic today. As you can see, UpToStream Plate Amp 2.1 is wafted by the sponges, and all items are protected by the sorted box. In the box, we include a USB Type-A data cable, a UpToStream Plate Amp 2.1, a Wi-Fi antenna, a Bluetooth antenna, a user menu, and three pieces of speaker wires. And we also include the E-Way stickers, which are already sticked on the back of the plate. First, let's check the outside of the plate. From the top side, you can see there are two antenna connectors one for Wi-Fi signal, the other one for Bluetooth 5.0 signal. Next, let's check the rope chain knobs in the middle. This allows you to adjust volume, triple, and bass. You can press the volume knob to switch input sources, press triple or bass knob once to reset the value to zero. Long pressing the triple or bass for 5 seconds to increase or decrease the crossover frequency by 30Hz. When successful, you'll hear a beep sound. The crossover frequency range is from 50Hz to 200Hz, the default value is 110Hz. Now, move to the last row. You can see there is an RJ45 Ethernet port for more stable network connectivity. Next is the most important row on the board, the Functionality Mode button. You can click once to switch between input modes, quickly click twice to reset the Wi-Fi connection, and three times for factory reset. And let's check the audio input. It has a 3.5mm jack analog input for streaming from your receiver, CD player, vinyl, or any device with an analog output. The other one is an optical input for streaming from your TV or other audio equipment that has the digital output. Up to Stream Plate M2.1 also supports streaming from PC connected to the USB-A port. And if you have been following our channel, you must note our ACP Workbench tuning tool, which is a software to tune your favorite EQ settings. I'll put up the link on the screen. If you're interested to know more, you can jump to it. The acceptable power input is 12 volt to 24 volt. If you want to achieve the maximum performance, you can use 24 volt power input with 4 ohm speakers and 2 ohm subwoofer for 50 watt times 2 stereo power output and a 100 volt subwoofer power output. Let's turn the screen to the main board. You may care about the amplifier chips. The amplifier chip is TPEA 3116D2 times 2 We have two on the board. And of course, there are three speaker outputs for connecting to your speakers and subwoofer. As you can see in the unboxing, we include the speaker wires in the package. As usual, we reserve some functionality pins for you to add additional features. Like you can add an IR sensor board, button board, LEDs, and reset button. From now on, as long as you have up to stream play them 2.1, then building a wireless boombox can be so easy. You only need to connect your speakers, subwoofers, and put them all in the speaker box and plug in the power. This is the best all-in-one solution for wireless boombox projects. Finally, let me tell you a good news. For our subscribers, you can use the code on the screen for 10% off on the up to stream amp 2.1 until next Wednesday. Right now for building your wireless boombox projects. That's it. Subscribe us for more product news and useful tutorials. See you next time.